that he always tries hard. He tries as hard as he can, but there is a point in there where you feel like if you don't do something here, maybe it won't happen. And that's where over trying does take place. You don't see the situation like you would normally see it. You see it with other circumstances and other criteria. It can change the way you perform. Close quote. Mm. So Marcellus, is Russell Wilson, is his over trying hurting the Seahawks? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, it is. And I warned you, I told you when Russell Wilson was going out there playing perfect football that it couldn't last, it wouldn't last because of all the pressure on him with the surrounding issues. And what happens when you're Russell Wilson, you get yourself put in this position where you even realize not a lot of help, especially defensively, obviously, but not a ton of help. So you go into normal moments with this heightened sense of awareness that I have to do a little more to make up for the issues and the deficiencies all around me. So what happens? Over trying. Now, it's funny he's in this position and now being called out for over trying because before he was actually over delivering. Hmm. And it's interesting how it's always a gift and a curse. The same attribute can be a gift and can be a curse. It's a gift when you're making up for a defense that would give up 35 points a game. But now it's a curse because in certain situations when all you have to do is play it the Patriot way. Just let the game come to you. Stay within your skin. All of a sudden, Russell Wilson can't do that. I told you before, he's walking into the weight room trying to lift the whole weight room. You can't. One dumbbell at a one time, dumbbell. one exercise at a time. But he walks in and is like, I got to do it all because all this pressure is on me. So, Acho, ah, I got to I gotta have to go lean into my old bag, you mm -hmm. know, my old analyst bag, you know, before I became a personality. <laughs> I was an analyst. Used to break down film. I want you to look at a couple of plays that actually show you what over trying mm. means at the quarterback position. Let's look at Russell Wilson right here, wide open field. Oh, Russell Wilson, one-on-one -on -one with a defender and nothing but pay dirt. What do you want to do? Oh, I'd rather throw an interception. That's what Russell Wilson rather do. What in this situation? Oh, you got Greg Olson there. Oh, I'm going to throw a pick and force it to him instead of a wide open Tyler Lockett. Look at these situations right here. This is what over trying looks like. Pete Carroll's like, let the game come to you. I understand there are times where you roll the dice, Mr. Gambler. There are times when you go out there and say, hey, let me go out there and see if I can make it work. But there are more times than not where you let the playbook, you let the circumstances, you let what happens on the field actually dictate the terms. Russell Wilson, guilty. I, trying. I would love nothing more than to disagree with you and scorch you off the face of the television like, like a hot take. Botch. I would love to. But you can't. I can't. Man, you're exactly right, big uh, bro. How long have I been right on this one, though? You, hey, you called this shot. You call, he called glass a long time. He said bank. And he went off the bank and into the bucket. <laughs> uh, you are Thank right. You. Russell Wilson is over. He's, it's not even that he's over trying. He's just, the let Russ cook mantra was always going to fail. Ooh, and it was always going to fail. And I said this. Hmm. If one quarterback in the NFL should be allowed to cook, it's not Russell Wilson. Really? It's Patrick Mahomes. Huh. If one quarterback in the NFL with the plethora of weapons that's already at their disposal, mm. if one should have been allowed to cook, it would be Patrick Mahomes. And what did the Chiefs do this season? Spent a first-round pick on a running back. Hmm. What did they do during the season? Went and got the best running back in the last 10 years in, in Le'Veon Bell, statistically speaking. How? If the Chiefs <laughs> House, <way. laughs> have a chef yeah. that should be cooking, they're like, you know what? Ah, we're not going to let you cook. That's not the wisest thing in the world. We're going to go get mm. you help. Why are the Seahawks, who actually have a quarterback who shouldn't be cooking as much as other teams, why are they going to let him cook? Now, the only defense I will give Russell Wilson is, what's their other alternative? Yeah. If Russell Wilson isn't going to go out there and do it, then who is? But let me tell you how, it, how and why it's killing him. Chris Carson, running back for the, for the Seahawks, been hurt the last three weeks. So, okay, we don't want to look at the last three weeks. Mm -hmm. First six weeks, he only had 66 rush attempts this year. First six weeks of 2019, he had 118 rush attempts. Chris Carson, last year, same running back, same, same dude. running back, same dude. Last year, finished fifth in the NFL in rushing. Averaged 4.2 or 4.4 yards a carry. This year, he averages 4.9 yards a carry when he's been on the field. He's actually been a better running back, but he's not getting the carries. Two years ago, the Seahawks had the best running game in the NFL. Last year, I believe they had the fourth best running game in the NFL. Right now, they sit at 14th. Uh -huh. So if you're the Seahawks, y'all put Russ in this position. And what has this, this position gotten them? 
<clears throat> I gotta go cough, cough first. What, I was what? gonna go, I gotta show you something, Marcellus. Gotta I gotta show screen? you something. You got I got more in the full screen. What you got? Look at this, bro. Carson Wentz, his biggest stretch of giveaways, his four game stretch of giveaways, he gave eight away from weeks five to week eight. Week one to week four, Carson Wentz, eight giveaways. But Russell Wilson, the last four games, Marcellus, mm. 10? I just had to let you and America mm. know Russell Wilson is being like historically bad. Mm. It, what's weird about us and Russell Wilson, when he does things great, we're like, oh my God, great, great, great drop. Mm -mm. But then when Russell Wilson ever makes a mistake, we're like, doo -doo 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 -doo. we <laughs> didn't say, no, 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 no. Seahawks fans need to see this. This over trying is hurting the Seattle Seahawks. Yeah, only thing is, take me out of that we because I'm not a part of that pronoun. I've been on Russell's head all the way through because I just didn't want him to be set up to fail. And he was set up to fail. How was he set up to fail? Well, the defense. We knew that the defense wasn't going, to, wasn't going to be that good this year. They're playing into that exact same mantra. We're talking about the offense in terms of what they can do in production. And I told you, 2017, when they let Russ cook in terms of his production, in terms of his attempts, they saw the worst success. But then they looked around this year and they said, man, last year we had the running game going. But then the injuries to the point we had Marshawn Lynch in the playoffs. Come on, y'all. Can't go with the running game as our priority. Let Russ Cook is a hashtag. It's kind of catchy and it makes a lot of sense with our defensive issues and our running game letting us down when we wanted them to be reliable. So then you get into a situation like this. And to really dig into what you said, not just the last four weeks, 10 turnovers, seven interceptions, including three in the end zone. Can't do it. Uh, that's 21, maybe 24 points. It's Doug Peterson's coach. 24 <laughs> points potentially lost because of Russell Wilson. And I am not putting this on Russell Wilson. I'm putting this on the circumstances that were created around Russell Wilson because of their coach. And it's amazing that coach doesn't go out there and give you the credit for really lifting all the boats, lifting what the running game's not doing, lifting what the defense is not doing. But all of a sudden, it screams louder that coach is going to criticize you for trying to do so much and too much in situations he put you in in the first place. The thing we really have to assess, and again, I'm not going to go too hard on Russell Wilson, but we got to come down real because we praise really? him when he deserves his praise. So let's not all of a sudden act like these 10 turnovers are excusable because of all the pressure because we didn't give Carson Wentz the same grace. Well, they give, ain't the same. I ain't giving Cam Newton the same grace. Well, like, I'm just not giving But neither one of those guys put in on this. None of those guys came and chipped in on the party. Like, Russell Wilson chipped in on the party. He was the MVP frontrunner. Carson Wentz has been whatever the opposite of that is. And, Carson, mm -hmm. and Cam Newton Cam somewhere Newton. towards That's the fair. bottom in the middle That's of that, fair. right? So you can't criticize Russell But now Wilson. let's go here. R uh, Russell Wilson, first five games of the season, starts off 5-0. and oh. Beat the Falcons. Falcons, we know, bad team. Mm -hmm. Beat the Patriots. Patriots, we know, not a great team. Mm -hmm. Beat the Cowboys. Bad team, even with Dak Prescott. Oh. Beat the Dolphins, pre-Tua. Uh, I mean, not a bad team, but, like, not a great team. Mm -hmm. Beat the Vikings. Not a great team. Mm -hmm. Now the last four weeks, mm -hmm. what have we seen? Mm -hmm. They lost to the Cardinals. Cardinals, we know, are a playoff team. Yeah, right. Lost to the Bills. Playoff team. Yeah. Lost to the Rams. Playoff team. They beat the Niners in there somewhere. I just got to the point, Marcellus, where you have to ask yourself, because you are right. Russell Wilson was the MVP frontrunner through five weeks against Falcons, Cowboys, Vikings. Dolph I mean, he was. <laughs> but there comes a point where we really have to assess and say, man, were we bamboozled? And were, were Seahawks fans to a degree bamboozled? Because I don't know if this let Ruck, Russ Cook mantra had the schedule been reversed, if it even would have got off. The man. manner in which it got off. Godly, I love a show week six take and week ten. You know why? Because it's going to sound different than week one. Because, boy, <laughs> you over here fully now. When I was saying, why do we have so many segments of you arguing me? What are you talking about? He's killing him. He's Russell Wilson. I was like, he's not only been here before three different times in his career, but he's going to do it again. It's just a setup for disaster. So with friends like you, Acho, who needs enemies? Because you're going to flip on them anyway. Wait, 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 wait. You I don't guess, flip on I Russell. feel like it's with enemies like me who needs friends. <laughs> because technically I started off as enemies, but I'm your dog right oh, now okay. on this side. So okay. with enemies like me, who needs friends? But what? I got to speak for Russell right now. Like, where's the Acho support right now? Now you're bringing out the receipts, who you're playing against. You know it's bad when you start saying, man, who you do that against, though? <laughs> but when he was doing it, you're like, I'm all good with that. That to the side. It's amazing how many times this happens in the NFL when you're not set up to go out there and play optimal football, set up to succeed to your fullest. We're going to talk about this with Lamar Jackson out in Baltimore. We're seeing it right now with Russell Wilson. 
It is amazing to find the equilibrium, what Tom Brady had. And I remember being an active player, and it was almost this jealousy conversation going on of why in New England does it just work? Why in New England is there just this balancing act, this equilibrium between a top scoring defense and having the offense that can support that or even enhance that? I remember watching Mike Vrabel. Let me give you a jealous moment because I don't like to just talk in general. I remember watching Mike Vrabel. He got drafted the same year as I, lower than me. Um, I was more talented, but I thought he was a better football player. Mm -hmm. And he started off slower than maybe I did because I was a backup. Mike Vrabel was out there playing already, but just, you know, whatever. He hit New England, and everything changed, and I got jealous. I was like, what the hell are they coaching <laughs> and doing out there when Mike Vrabel shoots past me? But the point of it is, sometimes it is a dynamic set of circumstances between coaching, play calling, and what circumstance you put in. Russell Wilson, as crazy as this sounds, was put in a failing situation. For him to do all of this to this point, seems like he overachieved.